Welcome back, everyone. It is time for our second series of the afternoon as we're heading to an, another nice series of Overwatch. And I'm excited because this is one of my uh, favorite up and coming teams, my new teams coming into this West Branch versus Somerset. And that has that powerhouse trio even of ball diff the game slays and dps diff on that uh west branch squad yeah we saw a really good performance from west branch last week we're looking forward to another good one this week uh, but i'm really excited to see the somerset area golden eagles as well um uh, and see what kinds of work during the offseason they put in um so uh we do have a couple of players uh to uh, to watch as well uh here representing uh west branch uh, gotta watch ball diff uh like you mentioned joker uh, we're pretty excited to see them uh and um you know, 13.5 Elims, average per 10, 11k damage dealt. Those are not numbers to scoff at, especially here on the tank roll. So you can expect to see Baltif really pump out those uh, uh, numbers like that uh, today. Uh, I was... <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, as, uh, <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> everything's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I was behind. I, my face had been consumed by the West Branch area dancing logo. Around back there. <laughs> <laughs> but here's our uh, player to watch from uh, from Somerset here. Your boy Luke on uh, the damage roll. Uh, 6,347 uh, 6, damage dealt in six elims. This was a very quick game they played last week because, well... They, I believe, went against uh, Holidaysburg last week. So, I mean, you're going to go against a very difficult team. So, obviously, it's going to be a quick game. But still doing a lot of work for the side of Somerset there. Look for him to show up for this squad if they want to have any chance of taking West Branch down here. And you guys saw it as well, but there's a couple of locations to take down West Branch here for Somerset. The first of which is going to be Busan, is going to be our starting control point map. And this is interesting to me, Joker, um, is, uh, is, you know, we've got Busan, Havana, and Coliseo uh, for our uh, map pool this week. Busan being, at least until Season 4 of Overwatch, um, the only map of these three that is not currently in the playable competitive map pool. Which means you're also not going to find it in quick play on arcade games as well unless you're selecting uh, the uh, under the arcade modes the control point maps the, what this means for these teams is that playing on busan is going to be a little bit for for those teams who haven't scrimmed this map is going to be a little bit of a new experience uh, so there might be a great opportunity here for somerset to uh, uh to kind of sweep under the strategies of uh of Oh my lord, I'm, I'm absolutely losing my mind. Of West Branch, um, uh, being that West Branch likely hasn't gotten the opportunity to play on this map competitively, uh, at least in uh, recent weeks. So uh, I'm, I'm particularly interested to see Busan, since this will be a relatively unpracticed map for both of these teams. And uh, already, holy moly, Joker, the first fight has broken out. Well, I do know they were fixing things, especially the cow physics on top of the roof. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, now that I've seen them. I've seen the <laughs> internet videos. <laughs> but that doesn't have anything to do with the um, uh, the fight at the moment because DPS diff is in the back line. Finding three picks already and ball diff getting in on that kill V. Not on ball on Winston to start off with. I'll tell you, you know, there's there's one thing to be more afraid of an Overwatch than a, a player who is just the best in the lobby, and that's going to be uh, two players who are not only good teammates, but likely good friends as well, and that's possibly the dynamic that you're looking at when you see Baldiff and DPS diff engaging. Names that match up, you know, obviously these two play a lot of Overwatch, and uh, so D Somerset is on the lookout for one or the other, because where one or the other is, the other one is likely to be. Yeah, look at that perfect dive in together. Uh, they saw DPS diff had to use their uh, reflex, but then they went in with their own uh, charge, with their uh, their bubble, and they continue to just dominate. And while, while they're being focused on West, uh, while the, they're focused on those two, the game slays is on high with this Widowmaker finding two picks already for West Branch to continue to hold on to this point. 
The game slays is coming up on their ultimate as well. Same with DPS diff. The blade is drawn from its sheath and oh. finds Andrea and then Swiss without the supports here for Somerset. The rest of them are all set to cave at the choke of Busan. And the battlefield will go quiet at least for now. Uh, so that's one one ultimate out from West Branch. Uh, meanwhile, Somerset with a with a handful of swaps and and, and really fights that haven't resolved uh, uh, or been long enough for them to generate ult are, are definitely looking for a way to break through this choke. It's going to be difficult though because you see Bald if <laughs> they're going to be ready with the primal to disrupt any effort to attack this point from Somerset. Bald if's just vibing next to the cow, uh, but hey, he may not even need that primal rage as the game slays a. DPS diff have already found two. They're just gonna follow it up with that Tesla cannon, finding some more damage done for West Branches. It's already up to 95%. I don't even think anyone's gonna be able to touch it, even if they can. Ball diff is gonna be in their spawn with that Primal Rage, stopping any advancement as West Branch take round number one. Really good stuff from them as well. It was a clean execution on that dive composition. Uh, uh, really great stuff from Ball Diff and DPS Diff to go in together and also get out together. Uh, disengagement is a very important part of, uh, of, of how to uh, play team fights uh, uh, in Overwatch. Uh, but then as well, you have the game slays, Breadcat and Fire Lord just ready to to follow up on either those disengages or those disengages as well. Uh, there have been some good responses from Somerset as well. Uh, you saw a couple of swaps emerge from them as the round progressed, and now they found themselves on this happy little brawl composition. It's really more of a responsive comp. It's a, it's a strategy that says, you know, West Branch, when they dive on us, we can punish them. Savo's uh, playing the buffed Roadhog who himself is a little bit of a sleeper pick. You can put turrets on the objective from Lemon Raven Symmetra, and you got a whole lot of damage to mitigate from Ocean. Well, I mean, you're talking about the Symmetra turrets, but you, you can't really do anything when your head is taken off by the game slays. As uh, it's again, Ocean going down as uh, this Widowmaker pick from the game slays has just been incredible. As Fire Lord's going in for the res in the face of Zavo as West Branch get this first capture. It was uh, it was a really nice turnaround for them. Um, uh, it, there was uh, there was an opportunity for Somerset to bounce back from that, but Game Slay is just playing really safe, really far back, and finding that opening pick onto uh, onto Lemon uh, was really influential. Now you've got Ocean mirroring the Genji, and Lemon's going to be on the Echo. So these are going to be the two who are looking to dive with each other for Somerset. But at least for now, Ocean's attention can be diverted to Somerset's backline, where a whole fight is taking place. Well, I mean, there uh, it goes yet again. The game slays in the back. Maybe we should have talked about this guy on the Widowmaker, just continuing to dominate. DPS diff getting not outmatched, finding three of their own for West Branch as uh, there comes the infra sites up to no, well, find out where everyone is. This is up to 43%. Yeah, so you're looking at at a potentially um, not really a losable situation yet for Somerset, but a situation that is becoming more and more difficult to win for sure. Baldiff is is making themselves, uh, well, really accessible to damage from Somerset, uh, but um, but they're you know making themselves a serious obstacle to get through. And then even once you burn through the HP from Baldiff, you've got so many other lethal forces to contend with. At least for now, Fire uh, Fire Lord has been dispatched. I mean, the Fire Lord's been dispatched, but the game slays. Finds three uh, with uh, the help of a, uh, with the help of that Mercy uh, Pocket for a little bit. Um, and then, I mean, it's going to wrap things up and continue to hold on. It's 81% and counting for West Branch. Coming up on last fight here as well, a whole slew of ultimates from West Branch and a couple from Somerset that they can use. A really nice opening pick there from Ocean as well. The game slays a dispatch means that there's a serious threat that's been dealt with. Coalescence committed there onto DPS Diff, who will end up going down in the Amplification Matrix, although applied, oh. did end up going down. No! Needless to say, Joker, oh, no. a little unlucky. Somerset was unable to touch the objective. I think that was just a case of not looking at the percentage there, uh, as um, they, they unfortunately got to... Um, the, uh, unfortunately got, uh, caught up in the moment and had to, 
Uh, did not touch in the end there, Thief, then. Yeah, it's one of those situations where it's like, you know, you... You want to clean up the fight, right? You you want to um, uh, you want to make sure that any threats that need to be eliminated are are dead and gone, right? Uh, but then uh, you also need to to be able to play and capture and control the objective. Um, uh, it's it's an age old question in Overwatch of you know when and how to play the point because really all I want to do is run around and shoot stuff, and uh, so that's what we'll honestly likely use this third round for is to continue running around and shooting stuff here. Uh, although West Branch have taken the map, Somerset has an opportunity to put up one final fight here on Usopp. Yeah, uh, Savo tried to find a pick, but uh, the Breadcat saved their life with a oh, wow, that nice was immortality field. It was very clean, but you know, it's also clean. DPS diffs dash throughs, finding three with the dashes as West Branch take that first fight as, um, I don't know if they're going to even capture the point, because, I mean, why, why even bother? Well, I mean, outside of the fact that it's 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 the way to win the game mode. Uh, nice reflex there. Managed to get both of the fire strikes back on the Savo there. Uh, Baldiff goes for the slam as well. And West Brant still hasn't haven't uh, captured the objective. So, Joker, we are looking at, uh, at, at a possibility that this map actually just goes on truly forever. This is the map that never ends. <laughs> it goes on and on. My friend, we started playing... We didn't even know Ocean, what it was. Break oh. the cycle. No, Ocean, don't you do Ocean it. Ocean can do it. Ocean can do it. No, they're not going to do Ocean it. Drop from the game slays. DPS stiff on them. And I think they're going to And gonna now we finally get to capture the objective. All right, there we go, West Branch. They they, they figured it out. They, uh, at one point, the big glowing indicator that you have to capture the point, uh, uh, you know, it's too hard to ignore there. And another fight cleaned up here by West Branch as well, albeit at the cost of the Dragon Blade there, but uh, it's good to get that ultimate out for Somerset, uh, meaning that uh, in the next fight, they won't have to worry about the Blade. They'll just have to worry about uh, any one of the other ultimates. At least right now, the only other one for West Branch is going to be this uh, this Amplification Matrix, and it could be easily zoned out by Swift's, uh, by Swift's uh, Coalescence. Yeah, as the goal lessons does come out early here, they need to find something off the back of it. And Savo parts that charge and hasn't found anything. Oh, but that's slam. a big slam coming in, and both uh, from uh, from West Branch. There, they do go down in the end, but it's still looking good for uh, West Branch to continue to hold on to it. As Savo finds two, but it's not enough in the end. It's up to fifty percent. And that was a that was an ult exchange as well. So you ended up seeing the the coalescence committed. Um, uh, although I don't think that uh, Lemon Raven was able to get uh, get much towards Rip Tire. Savo coming up on the uh, on the Earth Shatter as well, um, probably in this next fight. So really for Somerset, they just need to get a good reset so that they can get a group up and then fight West Branch as five. See if there's an opportunity to deploy that Shatter that's coming up from Savo. Uh, Salo is on points. Found the bread, bread cat on the point, but the uh, dragon blade has come out from DPS diff to wrap things up yet again. The game slay is finding two. They have this tack visor available. It's up to 85%, and ooh, Lemon Raven already found out. Yeah, uh, just uh, trying uh, trying to get in there uh, it, for damage. Um, uh, it's it's ambitious, maybe a little bit overly so. But what other option do you have uh, besides to run in? Uh, considering that they've got uh, West Branch has the sound barrier and the tactical visor, both of which they commit. You've got Ball Diff saying no, you are not able to cross this area. As the match uh, or map concludes for Busan, resulting in a 3-0 victory for West Branch. Yeah, as uh, we're gonna stick this. Play of the game first. Here it is that Dragon Blade, the first Dragon Blade from DPS Diff on Busan. And, well, it's a lot of work done for that Genji player finding four in that play. Yeah, and you know, uh, playing that uh, third map means that you know stats end up uh, uh, being able to be padded a little bit there for West Branch. So they're looking, they're feeling pretty comfortable after this uh, first map. Now, you know, does that continue? Only one way to find out. Heading into Havana for our next showdown, this is an opportunity for West Branch to continue demonstrating prowess over their roles in Overwatch, but uh, perhaps on a different set of heroes. You and I talked at length, Joker, about uh, the advantage on Havana in particular of the sniper heroes, and although it would 
wouldn't be, uh, I, I wouldn't complain personally about watching more of DPS Diff's Genji or the game Slay's Widow. Uh, I, I do want to see some new stuff from mm -hmm. these teams. I want to see them flex their creative muscles a little bit. Uh, maybe see uh, the um, uh, maybe see uh, the Sigma instead of the Wrecking Ball, Torbjorn instead of Soldier Seventy Six. You know, some of these some of these fun heroes uh, that uh, that we can watch. I'd like to see that. For Somerset, it's really just about finding the right response. Maybe not even to the heroes that are being run here from West Branch, but uh, but rather to the play styles and the strategies they're using to find wins in these team fights. And really, I think that it's just it boils down to West Branch wants to play highly aggressive. So the question is, how do you prevent them from doing so? That is the question, and I think it all it has to start with. Uh picking either deep uh, it has to be picking one of those three the dp uh dps div ball diff or the game slays but then when you find that pick you need to follow it up and get it into more because we've seen they lose uh ball diff early on then the game slays or dps diff go on a tear and find kill the rest of the squad uh it's got to be a, a cohesive effort from the rest of somerset here to find uh to get uh, the results that they're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Because Joker, you know it's a cohesive effort from uh, from West Branch. You know that they're synergized. You know that they're operating um, uh, 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 dependently on each other, right? And so, uh, so you're absolutely right. I want to I want to share as well that you know part of cutting down the aggression uh, from West Branch might actually mean uh, letting ball diff or DPS diff roll in and then uh, and then moving up uh, Somerset moves up and, and sees if they can dispatch Bradcat or Fire Lord right if you can sever the lifeline of support to uh, to these uh, absolutely bonkers players then they're not going to be able to play as freely or as, or as effectively right so they'll still be able to pop off but they get a little less support that gives Somerset an advantage and maybe you know the, the uh, two or three 3v1 there. Um, uh, DPS diff hiding in the bushes as well ends up getting found out there. Uh, looks like uh, someone has their settings to lowest so that they can see those player outlines uh, when they're hiding. They are hiding in the shadows. The shadows did not uh, bode them well, but West Branch still gonna start off the, uh, the this fight with a pick on to Lemon Raven. The res is gonna be there, but it it's going to be followed up immediately afterwards. Ocean is going to fly up that shot, try to turn it back, but the res still ever true for West Branch as they're, they're still looking to open things up. Oh, my That's a nice goodness. Deflect kill. A nice a deflect kill indeed. Is a, no, I don't think they've realized that Ball Diff is up there. They finally figured out he's there. <laughs> they can't do anything. He's just there, sitting there, menacingly, Ethan. As, uh, <laughs> there's just not able to find the picks that they need as Ocean finds another one with this Widowmaker, but can they find more is the question, and it does not seem to be the case right now. I actually got that reference. I actually got that one. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, points finally going to be able to uh, get started uh, moving here. Uh, what you're seeing here is kind of a variation of this close hold, but instead of just sitting here oh. on the objective the whole time, nice shot there by Ocean. What you're doing is you're rolling in and out, on and off the point, just constantly stalling it, which arguably might be more frustrating uh, and difficult to uh, to contend with. Uh, I like the Savo Junker Queen here, though, because it's a nice matchup against the Wrecking Ball to displace him while he's trying to displace you. It is a really good uh, play, but can they land their Jagged Blade is the real question of this disruption, or can they get, uh, or at least get the uh, the, the blood tick, uh, the, uh, the drainage coming in from at least getting it through them. But it's uh, not seeming to be the case right now because West Branch are still holding on as the Dragon Blade has come out from DPS diff, just trapping Somerset and Spawn. Yeah, and so you know you've got uh, you've got a minute fifty here uh, that you can deal with. This is a fight that you can afford to lose. We get a swap from Savo onto the Ramatra, uh, which I think is a, a good um, a good response here. Minefield in the entrance, though, that's going to make things uh, a little bit difficult here for Somerset as far as getting out. They're down Swiss. And he's just like loose with the tactical visor. Yeah, you're and saying, still winning that. Uh, the minefield was making it a difficult one. Well, they they tried to get out. <laughs> But then the game slays just said, eh, I'm gonna pop Tag Visor 5-2 as well. Uh, now they're swapped over to the Bastion, trying to open things up even more, trying to find a pick here. 
they might be able to. Uh, the game slays with this with a soldier seventy six and uh, with uh, with fire lord tether to them. It's just you're oh. you're only looking at damage here. See. Yeah, there's so much damage coming out. They do find a pick on it's a DPS stiff, but I think it's a little too late. It's down to 50 seconds on the board, and well, uh, they're just trying to run and hide from the damage uh, of the Gabe Slays right now. They are going to get them back. They're going to force them back for the time being. They still have to find a pick, though, is the real question. And Baldiff slamming around, just being a nuisance, still not going to be able to be found. And allows DPS Diff to get back and dive in and take away the space that West Branch is trying to make. And there's the Valkyrie coming out. That's going to be more healing more damage coming out as that's a minefield as well but it uh, might be enough for somerset to win this out nope no no never mind the game slays pops that tactical visor and wrap things up for west branch yeah, a, th a team kill at only three seconds remaining. Somerset is going to have to figure out what they want to do or how they want to do uh, a close hold here. Uh, it, you've only got uh, 29 meters. That's effectively half the distance that we got to watch in our previous series. Uh, so, you know, hopefully the next one that we get to watch, Joker, uh, it goes double the distance of the first series this afternoon. Because uh, I want to see, I want to see the Don Robotico Distillery. I want to see the, uh, uh, I want to see the castle, uh, the last bastion of defense of uh, Havana, third point. I really want to um, see. The Widowmaker, Widowmaker duels on third point. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I mean those those are classic, but mm -hmm. you know they they also get pretty fun there on second point mm -hmm. where you've got the closed corridors, you've got some pretty cheeky high ground spots like on the canisters in the distillery, uh, and so you know I, I agree the widow duels on third are fun, but if we can get widow duels on second point, man, those those are pretty spectacular. Got to get pretty creative for those ones. Yeah, I remember. This is right before COVID happened. The uh, the first uh, it was the 2020 season of Owl, the first game of the season, the NYXL home stand. I was there in the stands, and <laughs> uh, it was Logix versus, I believe, oh my goodness, who was, what's his name? That was Odd Paris that played uh, Hitscan. Who played Hitscan for Paris? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is Lynxer. Uh, no, uh, it was... Oh my goodness! I uh, miss Lynx. This is gonna uh, annoy me, but uh, he was a young yeah, blood. Yeah. <laughs> he was a young blood in the the uh, seed, and then Logics decided to just come out and st sun him on the Widowmaker, and that's what I love about the Widowmaker on third point. But we're not talking about third point right now. We're talking about the game slays on first point, finding two picks already for West Branch. Yeah, really, uh, really. I don't, I don't even know where they got that shot from. Uh, kind of uh, industrious uh, widow positioning there. Uh, although it's actually just in spawn, so maybe less industrious than I thought it was. But it's still able to get Swiss out, uh, and Andrade is gone as well, which means this close hold is going to fall apart here for Somerset. You know, looking at limited options to see if they can touch your your best one is going to be getting one of your uh, one of your remaining members on the point, but they're not going to be able to live. For Lemon Raven ends up going down, and Joker, is there anyone left from Somerset to actually connect to this objective? Swiss is definitely going to make an effort. Yeah, they're going to try to make an effort, to. but not going to get there in the end. The merry-go-round works for West Branch in the end, and are able to take this series in a quick 2-0 fashion. Here you got the play game from uh, the game slays as well, though I don't think that this is an individual as much as a team effort here. The, the nano, uh, I'm sorry, the visor in effect. This one's actually, uh, this one was at the very end there. That's when there was only a couple of seconds remaining. So it's not the nano visor, but it was still damage boosted. Uh, you still had a lot of, um, a lot of strings being pulled from, uh, from the back lines and from uh, from inside the formation of uh, West Branch, um, I, I want to do a quick shout out, Joker, to to the supports from mm -hmm. this afternoon. You know, really, you and I, in, in the heat of the action, only got to really talk about the tanks and the DPS, those matchups and uh, and, and sniper duels. But the fact is that both uh, uh, both of the supports on both teams were really going above and beyond mm -hmm. their calls uh, as far as what they were responsible for in game. You saw some pretty uh, pretty 
devastating anti-nades cast there on Havana. Obviously, speed boost is incredibly valuable, and the Mercy, um, uh, the Mercy Beam, whether it's the outrageous healing she can provide or the unreasonable damage amplification that she can also do, uh, is uh, it was always there. And, and again, that's from both sides. So even Somerset on the back foot, you know, there's still a lot of things that they did well today, and I don't want that to go unacknowledged. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you. It's always uh, hard to uh, point them out unless they're in the kill feed for myself. But uh, yeah, they were definitely doing their job and doing it above and beyond for the side of West Branch there. But that's not it. We do have a short, a pretty long break for the moment. I, I don't know, 10 minutes, only 10 minutes. Perfect. So, um, but... We're going to be going for that break. Don't go anywhere, but if you do, come back in about 10 minutes. Uh, you're not going to want to miss the conclusion of the TEC uh, High School League Overwatch week number two. <laughs> 